Today's edition of Toggle's Daily Video Insights. Today we'll be looking at Workday, a Bay Area company that makes software for finance and HR. One of the first things you might notice about the chart is that it's had a few a choppy few months of, of trading. More specifically, there have been a number of val valuation insights of late. Uh, we're going to be focused on, on uh, one of these two uh, recent, recent arrows, which suggests that uh, Workday may go up 20 plus percent over the next three months or so. Just a reminder, if you like these videos, feel free to like uh, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, now, jumping into the, the Workday Insight, right, and specifically valuation that might be driving higher, what does that actually mean? Well, in the case uh, in the case of this insight, Workday's forward price to book, uh, a measure of sort of market value to book value, uh, and very specifically, because we're talking about the forward one, we're talking about the expectation of analysts of, of some of these numbers, uh, looks relatively low. And, and it, as we can see here, the median path forward suggests that a workday could make it all the way up to nearly 290 a share. Um, and the, the confidence interval suggests um, you know, quite a tight band of, of trading moving upward as it, as it goes. So we might want to think about, okay, when did this happen before, right? What, what do I need to know about this, this Workday Insight? Well, we can see actually price to book and Workday has been as low as it is a number of times in the past. First in 2014, then late 2015, 2016, uh, right around the end of 2016, a few times last year, and then sporadically since. And each of those times in the past when, when expectations of price to book were this low, uh, that's when you saw the stock rise over the, over the, following, over the following three months. Um, diving into to some of the quality checks, we can see that actually this hits almost all of the criteria. The, the one star that it's missing is triggering across different business cycles, mostly because we haven't really seen it over, over long extended business cycles, but really only in the, the recent sort of, um, you know, six, six seven years uh, worth, worth of data. Um, looking every time when this happened in the past, actually it has, has quite a robust hit rate. And actually, um, in addition to that, if we, if we look at the sort of clustering of, of results, that we've seen over time, oftentimes you return to you know, between zero and, and 30%, but actually it's, it's nicely convex in that several of the prior episodes uh, reach sort of 50, 50 plus percent returns. Now, uh, you'll be able to read more about this in the daily brief today, uh, as well as uh, we'll, we'll talk about Jay Powell's upcoming speech at Jackson Hole. If you don't yet subscribe, uh, go to toggle.ai and feel free to sign up and, and try Copilot for free. Like this video or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you know we'd like to see you again. We, hopefully we can continue to help you break down the barriers between the ocean of data around you and sort of how you invest and trade.